Hey guys, it's Matt, and welcome to another episode of Redstone 101, although this is going to be like a short episode. I'm probably going to call it something different like Redstone 101 Shorts, so that's probably what the name of the title is above you. And basically these are just going to be running alongside the main ones, basically if something simple like this, um, then I don't think it should have a full episode like the Redstone Cannon, which was quite long. But me talking like this is going to make it long anyway, so let's just get straight into it. Basically what this uses is, these shorts are basically just going to be using things in the new snapshots, so like new features so you can use them straight away when the update comes out. Basically when you're building it sucks when it goes night time. So what these things do is actually I'll punch that out so that doesn't actually work anymore. Get, get lost, there we go. Basically what this does is it keeps it daytime for you all the time. So you do time set zero in the um, command block, you put a detector rail and then you want to put sort of a loop round that the actual um, minecart can go around. So let's Get, we don't need the detector rail anymore, so we'll put that there. In fact, no, I want to use a grass block because I need to punch out the floor. And then we want to go down here. These just stay powered all the time, just so that the minecart can go around. This is just going to be automated. So the minecart will land, come around here, activate that, then uh, on a normal piece, and then this is when it starts to just go up as a ladder. So I'll say it just goes up five, maybe six. It doesn't really matter. It, wants, it needs to be a good height, but, long, but not too long, because if it's too long, then it'll go night time and it won't be as good. So what you want to do here then is, we'll leave that for now, is we want cobwebs going up here. And basically what will happen is the minecart will go into the cobweb and slowly fall down and then go back around its cycle, all make, um, lighting that each time. It's just a cycle that goes around, keeping it daytime, basically. Like that's what that one did. And I think it's actually the same size. I did that, but that was actually purely by accident. Um, then you want to put a block on that side. Um, I usually punch that one out just in case it gets stuck on top of the block. So it hits that, falls down, goes into this, cycles round. And now you want it to be able to get up the ramp. So we'll do that. Um, you, need, you can't do it around corners. We'll just basically make this bit as fast as possible because it's not really needed. It's just to get it back up there. Then we'll light that. And underneath there as well. And underneath there as well. In fact, you know what? Because it's the new snapshot, we can hide that a little bit better. We just punch those out. We'll put a, place a lever underneath it and flick it so it's on. Put a lever under there and then flick it so that's on as well. Yeah, that's much better. In fact, you can even do it to those. So I'll do it there as well. Turn them on. That's basically all it is. So it'll, we'll put it here. It'll land and then go round. Set it to daytime as you saw. Go up and round. Hit that. Land in them. And then that'll slowly start to fall down like that. And that's going to take ages, but I'll record it and speed it up so you can see what it's like. Okay, so it's about to drop off now. There we go. And it's, there we go. And it sets it again goes back up, goes back round. That overall was about a four minute cycle, so the sun would have been around there, because it's a ten minute day, so five would be all the way up there. Four's around there, so you could actually make this higher. If that was four, you'd probably want to make it twice as high to make it eight, and then that would probably be good. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so you'd, you'd rather have ten cobwebs going up, really. But that's basically it for this episode. If you want any more in the new snapshots or anything else, leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video, guys.